Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today I'm going to show you how to make these baubles. Now they really are quite simple to make. Um, you need to buy the baubles first and you can you can either use the glass baubles or you can use the plastic ones. Now I first purchased these baubles from the range and um, they sell the plastic ones. Now they had eight for $5.99 and this is the topper that they come in. Um, from the range in since I've bought these I actually found some in Poundland Poundland has got some in now even cheaper than I paid for mine they do a pound for three and they are actually slightly bigger as well from Poundland so that works out a lot cheaper um, I'm using these ones that I paid a little bit more for at the moment um, so what you're going to need are the baubles um, now I'm actually putting a feather inside mine and I bought my feathers um, online and I paid three pounds for mine um these are the ones that i bought they are sort of slightly larger um but you can actually get them in poundland i have seen the feathers in poundland i'm not sure how big they are but it would be definitely worth popping in to have a look now the stickers or the vinyls on the front i purchased mine from ebay and people that have got maybe a Cricut machine or a Silhouette machine, you can actually print these off yourself. Um, if you haven't got one of these machines, then um, you know you can just buy them and you can, you can sort of pay for the, for someone to do them yourself, themselves for you. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to put these together. So the two designs that I've got here is this one, my dad, my hero, now forever my angel. And what I've done is the, these baubles from the range came with some you probably can't see it because I've wrapped it up. Came with a little bit of ribbon. The the ones from Poundland, the ribbon's awful. It's string, so I just cut that off. Um, and I what I did was just use a little bit of lace there and topped it with a bow, so just to make it look nice. And this one is the feathers appear when um, angels are near one, and um, that's nice. It's quite a well known saying that one. So I'm just going to show you how you make them. They are dead simple. So I'm going to use the bauble that I bought from the um the range to start with um so what i'm going to do is to pop the feather inside so i'm going to use one of my feathers i bought mine from ebay i'll try and find the link and pop that down below but as i said they have got them for cheaper now in poundland um, i paid a little bit more for mine i'm just going to put one feather in but it's up to you how many you put in so that's my feather there. Now I found it quite handy when putting on the vinyl if you've got something to rest your bauble in. So I found that resting it in a cup was sort of really quite helpful. So I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors and this is the um, this is the sticker that I'm going to put on. Now when putting the sticker on, I find it easier if you cut, if you're doing like a, a curved design if you cut it in at some certain places where you've got some extra lines because they do sort of crease and um, it can be a little bit tricky to do them so a good tip I've just cut in some bits out there because that bit sort of like folds in um, but you can sort of randomly do some cuts just make sure you don't cut through the vinyl and um, that does help when you're trying to um, put the vinyl on now i'm not directly standing over this because i've got the tripod in the way so hopefully i'll um i'll do it a good job i'll do it some justice now if you've got some rubbing alcohol pop that over first and um i've got let me just go and grab it i forgot to get it ready one of these um little tools it's basically a bit like an ice scraper but this is um felt and this just helps to pick up the, um, the vinyl. So this is already on the transfer paper. So you just do that there and then you start to peel. It is a little bit fiddly, but once you get used to it, if you're confident enough, um, you know, you can give them a go. So I'm going to start and peel this. Just go steady and it should pick up if you've rubbed it. And if it hasn't, just, just go over it again. Then I'm going to pull this in. Now, the best tip is to um, start with the middle, okay? So I'm going to start with the, the middle here, put it about where I think it's centre and just start and rub. As I say, it does help if you're standing directly over it and I'm not at the moment. So 
just sort of pull it down and then this is how I'm gonna to have to turn it a bit I'm afraid and just rub it all the way on and when you've done a certain section sometimes what you can do is peel that section off and it helps to um, to stick the next bit down <laughs> And there we go okay so you just pull it out of the cup and that sort of holds it in quite nicely so what i do now um is i pop a little bow on mine because i just think it looks quite cute and as i say if you get some ribbon in the packet you can just use the ribbon that you've got i'm just going to pop it in there for a second just so it doesn't roll away so it's up to you whether you use the ribbon that you get in the packet or if you use you know your own type so because these came from the range, you did get some ribbon with these. So I'm going to use the ribbon that came. It's just some thin organza type ribbon. I'm just going to put that through, just thread that through the top. And then all I did was just tie a loop. And I'm just going to snip that little bit off the top because it's a little bit too much. Now the part there um, that's um, where the hook is, the little hole, I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue on there and then I'm just going to stick one of these bows on. I'm going to keep it all in the white theme and stick this on if I can pick it up. There we go. Just get rid of that little bit of glue when it dries and that's it it's really 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 dead simple to do as i say it's just mastering the vinyl once you've um got to grips with that then um then it's absolutely fine so all i did with mine is i just wrapped them in the wrap that came from poundland and poundland have now got in their christmas cellophane so i'm going to wrap this one in the new snowflake the spotty one's nice as well from poundland and this is the new tape let me just undo this for you okay so there it is it's very very similar to the spotty but it's just got um tiny snowflakes and i don't know if you can see there so all we do is get ourselves a piece if you're obviously making this for yourself then i wouldn't bother wrapping it up but if you're giving them as a present and i think that wrapping them just makes them look you know a little bit nicer i'm going to use the curling ribbon so you just pop it in the middle there and um i'm going to use white curling ribbon I'll just get yourself a little bit before you start if i can find the end You just put your bauble in the centre, scrunch up the paper around the outside and just sort of bring it up the top. Get yourself some curling ribbon. You can use some normal ribbon as well if you want to. And you just tie it in a double knot. And then once you've done that, you can curl the, the little bit of ribbon you've got left. And that just makes it um, a nice present. So I'm just going to wrap the rest of these now. And um, that's them done. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And um, give it a go. See you all soon. Bye for now.